Okay, last time we started by going in and creating a folder and creating a first page. So we do the same thing. We're going to go back through. We're going to go back into Notepad, just like we did last time. And once we're in Notepad, we need to go to File and Open. Now, again, we saved this in OneDrive, and we saved it in a folder called Website. And once again, we can't see our file. So we change Text Documents to All Files, select our file, and press Open. We're going to put this so it takes up about half the uh, screen. Give some space to work. We're going to go back into our file browser, double click to open index.html. Now, because I've just been using this, it's in the same position, but again, if that's not the case, then by all means move it around so it fits. That way, you can see what you've done on this side being reflected on this side every time that you update it. Now, what we need to do now is we need to start working on some tags. Now, tags are basically the things that lay out our page on HTML. So, the first thing we're going to do here. Is going to tell it that it's uh, an HTML document. I'm going to do that using this thing called doc type HTML. And you can see we're using these arrows to open and close tags all the time as we go through this. Now, each time we do this, I'm going to save this. We can do file save or we can do control S. I'm going to press refresh on this side. Now, that particular tag at the moment doesn't actually show us anything. And we also need to close it. So, although we're going to actually create one here that starts the main HTML. And I'm going to close it by just putting a forward slash in and then writing HTML. Again, we're going to do control S. Again, we're going to refresh. And again, you can't see anything yet. Okay. Now, after the HTML, we're going to create a header. Now, this is the top section of the page. And particularly, actually, it's this bit here. Okay. And I'm just going to create a very simple, I'm going to indent it a little bit just to make it easier for me to see. We're going to create a title. And the title for this one is going to be Mr. D's website or web page. And again, I'm going to close that title. And because I've created a head section, I also need to close that head section. Again, opening and closing all tags. Control S again to save it. Refresh it here. And you'll see I've now got a title. Not amazingly exciting yet. Okay, but we're starting to get some structure in. The next bit, which is the main section of the website, which is everything that's here, it's called the body. So we're going to create a body. And again, because we've opened one, we're going to close it. It's easy to remember that way around. We're going to do Control S. And again, we're going to refresh and we're not going to see anything. But equally, we're not seeing any errors. So that's good. Now, just to try this, within um, web design, P is a paragraph. So we can do writing using a paragraph. H is a heading, but they come in numbers from 1 to 6. So I'm going to do H1, which is the biggest. I'm going to say, welcome to my website. I'm going to try and spell it correctly as well. And then I'm going to close that. So if I've opened an H1, we need to close an H1. Again, Control S to save it. Refresh it, and you'll see that. Now, colors, position on the page. Um, font, they're all controlled by something called a style sheet, and we'll come back to that later. But for now, all we're going to try and do is get some structure in about the topic you've been asked to do. So we've got an H1 heading, we could have an H2. You could say something like, spot the error there, um, an introduction to, I'm going to say cats, but you can make it about whatever you want. So H2, I'm going to close the tags again. Control S, refresh, and you'll see I've now got that. Now, most text, as I say, you can continue with H3, H4, H5, H6, but most text it goes in within P, which is for paragraphs. So I can say, in this web page, I intend to tell you all you need. Cats. Now, again, your topic will be chosen by you or your teacher. And again, I've opened the paragraph, so I'm going to close the paragraph. I'm going to do Control S. There's lots of saving, there's lots of repetition here, and there's lots of checking. So I've opened a title tag, I've closed the title tag. I've opened an H1 tag, I've closed the H1 tag. I've opened body and I've closed it there. That's because it encompasses the whole of this. And each time I press refresh, we should see something appearing unless it's part of the structure. Okay. So we can now start to build text-based start to our web page, which includes some information, which includes some titles. And of course, you can have subtitles as well. So we can uh, put something like uh, an H3 in here, 
uh, maybe give it a variety or something specific. So I could say habitats. And again, if I've opened an H3, I need to close the H3. And then again, I could put a paragraph in here and talk about that. Cats like to live in. And obviously, I'd expand that with a little bit more information. Again, Control S to save it. Press on here. Press on the refresh button. And you can see we've got three different sizes already. And you can experiment with this. You can try changing the H3 to an H4. As long as you close the same one. Sometimes you may find without closing the tag it works, but most of the time you'll find it causes a problem later on. Okay, shrinks a little bit. We can make that into an H5. Again, you should see a bit of a change there. Again, making sure I save in between each go. H6, so it's only get quite small. Control. Now there is a way of actually changing these later, but we'll worry about that at, at that point. And H6 is quite small now. Again, within the style sheet, we can redefine these. We can make the one bigger, we can make the six smaller, we can change the fonts and colors. But for now, let's try and get some basic information on. Let's try and build up a bit of a structure. So we're declaring that it's an HTML document. We're saying everything within here and here is going in the HTML document. Everything between here and here is the header. This is this bit here, which includes this title. Everything between here and here is the body, which is the main section down here. And then we've got our headings and our paragraphs within that.